Marty, I met your mother in Glasgow. Did you? Deborah? Yeah. Aye, oh, she, was, she was in the Loudoun. She was in the Loudoun, I met your mum. Oh, I'm going to crack on with her. <laughs> <laughs> <Did I? laughs> Welcome back, it's Eddie here from Tyneside Life. I'm here this morning at the, at the Pace Training Academy where Newcastle United players do their training. Uh, which is different from where they're staying, I'm not sure which hotel it is. So it's here, it's uh, just before 11 o'clock on the 25th, Wednesday the 25th, Tuesday the 25th. Big and hot already, God, it's going to be absolutely sweltering. So they must do all their training in the morning before it gets too warm. So they're based, the Newcastle team are based here in Atlanta, so they're obviously, they flew to Philadelphia, they come back, and then they'll be flying to uh, New York. I don't know if they're coming back from New York or, or flying back to the UK from there, but uh, yeah, this is where they're going to be training, so I'm super, super excited. Obviously, this is a once-in-a-lifetime chance and opportunity. I feel so fortunate to be here amongst a couple of hundred fans or whatever to, to meet the players, hopefully to meet Eddie Howe, to, to watch them train, to get up close. Um, unbelievable, I am so chuffed a bit. Um, so this is it, yeah, we're gonna be going in in about five minutes to watch them train. Um, I've also just had a, a few seconds chat with Emil Kraft, which you don't wanna miss later in the video. He gives us a little bit of snippet, snippet of information. He's training on his own over there. So anyway, I'm gonna get away and get inside in a few minutes and let you know what's going on. Hi guys, well I've got Ted with me from Atlanta here. He's been to Newcastle a couple of times where I've met him. Ted, yes, how are you doing? I'm doing well. How, how are you doing yourself? I'm really good. I'm really hot. Yeah, I don't blame you. In the south it gets really, really hot. That's why we call it Hot Atlanta. It That's is? Hot Atlanta for a reason. Who are, are you, who are you excited to see the most? Today, Isak. Definitely Alexander Isak. He's from my home country and everything. And also, of course, Amaron being from Atlanta as well. You know, the whole the whole Tuna Army, everyone. I'm excited to see everyone. Hello, my name is Matthew and I'm from Kenya. How old are you, Matt? Ten. Ten. You must be uh, super, super excited to meet Newcastle United players. Yeah. Yeah. Who do, you, who do you want to meet the most, do you think? Bruno. Bruno. Yeah, so do I as well, yeah. Have a great day, Matthew. Yeah. yeah. So we're on the way in. Super, super exciting. So we're here at the training academy. There's the players behind you there. Giving it the full 100%, getting ready for the, the Chelsea match tomorrow. Unbelievable. Surreal. Oh, man, Dad's just turned up there in a, in a pink dress. I didn't know she was out here. I knew Murdad Gadusi was out here. Great to see, man. What a, you know, the sense of community here with the, the whole club, everybody involved with the club and the players and the staff. But also the fans as well. That's, just remember those, or oh, try not to remember those 14 years under Ashley. You had nothing like this. So this is absolutely incredible to be involved in some way and to see it firsthand how close the club or how, how close the players are together. You can see they all get on. You can see that the, the owners care and it's just a visible rep representation of, you know, the blueprint of what a club should look like going forward in the right direction. I've just been looking to try to gauge who's injured and who may not be. Obviously, I, I haven't got the inside information, but Nick Pope, he's back in goal there. He's training, so it looks like his hand's on the mend. Jamal Lewis hasn't been involved yet. He's been sat on the orange boxes down by the side in his full tracksuit. There's talk that um, Watford might be sniffing around him for a loan deal. There's also a possibility he might be injured. I don't know the full crack with that. Uh, Sean Longstaff, he's in shorts and a vest, but he's not involved in the training at the moment. I don't know why that is. He might be carrying a little niggle, so that's, that's what I've managed to find out at the minute. So we've got Emil Kraft training on his own behind me here on this field. When I first arrived, I had a, a quick little chat. She says, hello, Emil, uh, how are you doing? He says, yeah, I'm okay. I says, will you be ready for the beginning of the season? He said, well, so, so. Um, so he's definitely staying, obviously. Um, he may or may not be ready for the first match, my guess for what it's worth is that he, he probably won't, but uh, it's good to see him back in training and I do look forward to him getting on the pitch. We're having breaks here every 10 minutes, I don't know exactly what the temperature is, but it must be 34, 35, it is sweltering. So they're stopping every 10 minutes for a, a water. Talking about the heat, you've got Eddie Howe there um, coordinating things on the pitch and he's got his tracks with bots on. It's staying, man. It's absolutely sweltering. If you'd like to see more videos like this and be notified the moment I release the next one, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Bye, sure, bye. Sure. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye. Robin, pleased to meet you, mate. Okay. You alright? Yeah, yourself? Yeah, yeah. Elliot? Geordie right. lad. And Helen has. Hi. Will he be? Yeah, yeah. Hi, Kate Willow and Gated. Uh, we'll be up for 10 days. Well done on the season and the upcoming one. Carrius, you alright? How are you doing? You alright? Well, Eddie, yeah, good to see you back, mate. 
Yeah, yeah, and good luck for the coming season. Yeah. Jamal, nice to meet you, mate. My name's Eddie. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good luck for the coming season. My girlfriend, Helen. Eddie, you alright? Right, we met briefly a few months ago. I'm Eddie H as well. All right, okay, are you? Yeah, yeah, Eddie Hope. Thanks, Eddie. Did you say Hope? Hope, yeah, Eddie oh, Hope, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah. you go. I had a so press pass for the Palace game last season. All right. So I got a little photograph of it. Yeah. yeah. So oh, thanks nice. for everything you're doing, it's, oh, it's amazing. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. means yeah. a lot. All right, nice to meet you, mate, legend. Yeah, you're going to bring a trophy back for this season? Uh, hopefully. <laughs> Cheers. You're too tall, man. Bloody hell, yeah. isn't he? Who's the older? Who's the oldest one? Yeah. Cheers, bud. Thank you. She's been di <laughs> dying to get a photo with you. Oh, really? I will say. Cheers, thank you. That's it. Just had the most incredible experience meeting all the guys. Just wow. They're just legends, all of them. What a time you know, to be a Newcastle fan to see this particular crop of Newcastle players who hopefully are going to bring us some greatness in the next year or two. I mean, all of them were really pleased to see the fans. They, they've given up a lot of time. They were genuine, you know, in their kindness. And uh, just, just by meeting us, you know, us ordinary folk, it was just a, an extraordinary, ex extraordinary experience. Everybody's filtering out now, everybody's happy. And if anybody at Newcastle United is watching, we'll thank you very much for that opportunity. It was superb, absolutely superb gesture. Um, and hopefully you'll do some more again. Uh, it means a lot to the fans after, after the awful years we had under our last donors. To see something like this, it's extraordinary. Oh, wow. And Helen, she got a photograph with Callum Wilson. She loves Callum Wilson. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. That has to be one of the uh, one of the best days of my life. That Helen, what did you think of that? Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Dad uh, friendly, aren't they? Uh, was there anybody in particular that you were pleased to see? Oh, I mean, Callum Wilson. He's quite up there. <laughs> quite likes being in between Bruno and Joe Linton as well. <laughs> I've had worse days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please, if you did, give us a thumbs up and thank you for all this, all your support. I think actually. Sorry, by the end of today, I should smash that 30,000 subscribers. So everybody that's subscribing, thank you. Yeah, it means a lot. You know, I don't get extra money for that. It's just a cool, sexy number to, to hit. And it's, um, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm a bit speechless, actually. You know, <laughs> after, after that uh, um, fan event, you know, with the players. Bloody brilliant. Yeah, anyway, uh, the next video will be the Q&A event in the Brew House Cafe at Lantala. That's taking place tomorrow, so you'll probably wake up, I'm losing track of days, Thursday morning, where that video will be ready and waiting for you. See you then.